Hey peeps, I'm Rick Roberts, and this is Rick Roberts Live, the podcast where we talk about my faith, my thoughts, my life, and today is Motivation Monday. Now, we've been in lockdown for a little while now, and now I know going up into the lockdown, people thought we're going to be here for a few days, a few weeks. Um, it's been quite a bit longer than that, and the question I have for you is, before we hit lockdown, how was your life? Did you love your life? Was it satisfactory? Were you kind of just like, ah? Uh, just existing or were you completely depressed about it some of you guys were thinking oh you know i didn't love it but you know it was it was all right it was good enough what i want you to think about is that since we've been on lockdown quite a few people have expressed that they see the weaknesses and the cracks inside the relationships it could be with their spouse could be with their children could be with themselves they've been noticing that there's been a lot of weaknesses and that they weren't happy really leading up until this point and now being the fact that they're not sure about their financial situation they are very unhappy um they're not sure how their health is going to be they are super concerned and so what I want to say to you is this, is that you weren't happy to begin with. You knew that there was something missing. And I think th deep down inside, you knew you wanted to change your life. In fact, when the lockdown happened, some of us even said, oh, great, I have time to do things that I haven't been able to get to. And so we've been hitting our gardens and we've been doing other crafts and things. But is that really hitting the true part that you wanted to have fixed all along? I don't know. Only you know the answer to that. What I want us to look at today is the butterfly. The butterfly is a very beautiful insect, but it doesn't start off that way. It starts off its life on the ground as a caterpillar. Now, as a caterpillar, it tries to find as much food as possible and eats that food, and then it goes into the chrysalis, and then it becomes a butterfly. But here's what I want you to pay attention to. A butterfly and a caterpillar are two completely different types, or well, they have two different completely types of lifestyle as insects. One's in the air, and one is groundbound. Now, as a caterpillar, it only understands life as a caterpillar. You have been living all your life and just been accepting the fact that you're on the ground. You have just been taking in what you can take in and just getting by. But deep down inside, you know that there's more to life than what you've been living and you want more to life but you just haven't been motivated let's look at the caterpillar what does it do to be able to grow it eats and eats and eats and consumes what it needs to grow you have an idea as to what you want to try in life what you want to really put your hands to my question is are you consuming the information you need to grow are you really taking in what it takes to become the butterfly, to become the expert, to become the master in that thing you want to take on? As you do that, you're going to get to a place where it takes time to reflect and to figure out how you're going to become that. And that's the chrysalis. As the caterpillar eats and eats and eats, it gets to a point where it's like, okay, I've done my consumption. Now it's time for me to go inside myself and reflect and then figure out how I'm going to grow to do this thing that I've set out to do. And this is what the lockdown was supposed to symbolize. All our lives, we have been living and consuming different bits of information. Now we are in a point where we have nothing else to do but to reflect, to truly self-reflect on how we can take this information that we've been putting in and live it out so that way we can go from being on the ground to truly flying. As the caterpillar goes through this period of being inside a chrysalis, it gets to a point when it's ready to emerge and it has to let its wings fully develop so that way it can properly take flight. And no one else can help this butterfly come out of that chrysalis. It has to do it on its own. It cannot come up before it's ready. And that's what I'm saying this time is this what you need to do. You know that there's more meant for you than what you've been living. You know that you have passions on your heart, desires that you want to do, and you are in lockdown. You are in your chrysalis, and there's going to be a time when it's time for you to come out and to spread your wings so you can fly. No one else can do it for you. You have to do it for yourself, and you have to believe in yourself. A lot of us have wasted time and just existed over the so many weeks of being on lockdown. 
just watching TV, just doing gaming and just wasting our brain power on just nonsense. Now I understand that you need to have some downtime, fair enough. But if 24 hours is downtime, you're not growing and you know that you're not growing. That's why deep down inside, you feel like you're missing something. You know you wanted to do more, but you haven't fully stepped to it because you haven't truly done the process and you can do the process. I believe in you. This whole period, this whole setup right now, we're all going through as as a community, as the world, we're all going through this period together. Let's try to take something from it. Let's try to get something out of it and not go through this period and go out and be the same person we were as, that we came in. Let's not go through it and come out worse than what we were when we came in. Let's come out and be a completely different, transformed person than when we came in. It's so unfortunate. People are dying. People are getting sick. People are losing their financial livelihoods and they're losing their marriages and they're losing so much. But that's not going to be you. You're not going to lose so much. You're going to grow from this experience and you come out transformed by this trans by this experience because this is what it is that we do. We choose growth instead of loss. We choose love instead of sadness and bitterness. You will not live in your misery anymore. You will become a hungry caterpillar. You will go into your chrysalis and you will come out a transformed butterfly. Now notice, as the butterfly comes out, it's never flown before. It's never done that before. As you learn your skills and as you internalize and figure out how you're going to step out and what your style is, you're going to have to go through that learning curve of learning how to fly. At first it will be awkward. It will be difficult. But the more you do it, the more natural it will become, the more natural it will feel. You can do this. You have to expect to go through difficulty. You have to expect that it will be awkward and you have to persevere because through perseverance, then we start to reach our, our success. We start to mature into our true authentic self. Become that butterfly. You are not meant to live your life and just be a caterpillar. There's more in life for you than being on the ground. You were meant to fly. If you've already felt that you've lost so much, if you will change, life can change. Unfortunately, loss comes to everybody. We all lose something. We all experience difficulty. Everybody experiences difficulty. But how we think and how we respond is what truly makes and changes the game for us. God is right there by your side. And he is trying to help you to learn the lessons you need to learn so that way you can transform into your, your true self and not be bound by what the world tells you you have to be. Stand strong and fly. I'm Rick Roberts, and you stay classy. Bye.